Hey guys, Josh with Link Spider. In our last video segment, we talked about going just a little bit beyond the standard stock GoPro battery, which gets you about an hour and a half. For most games, that may get you close, but you can't always guarantee it. And that only gets you one game, and most of you guys are doing more than one game in a day. Tournaments, you're gonna play five, six, seven, maybe eight games in a weekend. Uh, you wanna have an option that's gonna let you go beyond that standard. So here's what we do. We use a product called the Battery Eliminator from Switchtronics. Um, it actually takes the place of the stock battery, snaps into the back of the camera. It has USB power on the other end. Um, we power that with an EasyAct battery. This is a 16,000 milliamp hour battery. As I said in the other video, it really does get me about a week's worth of video, um, and that's using it a lot. Uh, I try not to charge it too many times because like with any rechargeable battery, uh, if you charge and discharge so many times, they've only got so much life. I try to let it completely deplete. Uh, that gets me the most battery life that I can possibly get out of this. Um, so here, I'm gonna show you how to mount this. Um, as I also mentioned, we use this external um, pouch. It's a tool pouch that you can get at Lowe's. Um, they're $9. I would love to sell you one uh, that I would made custom make for the Link Spider, but I can't do it for $9. This is awesome. It has a couple of spots that you can put some other things. Um, but anyhow, we use it for this. We slip the battery right there on that front slot. Uh, Switchtronics has done a pretty good job of making sure that this fits in a stock environment. On this standard skeleton back, this will feed through this uh, back panel. And then as I mentioned before, it just snaps in just like the battery uh, from the stock camera. It latches so that it's not going to pull out, and it's got this cutaway so that it will pull straight out the back. So you put it in just like you would uh, the standard, and you've now got this sticking out the back. Now this pouch that I mentioned actually has two spots, uh, two pouches. So what I like to do is get it right about here, circle this stuff around because you've got about a 10-foot cable, which is handy if you've got external power. If you've got AC power somewhere, there's no sense in you running on battery because you may need that battery life later. Uh, the EZAC has three ports on it. You would think that would be great to run multiple cameras. You cannot. Um, the GoPro uh, will amp out most of these externals. Um, however, uh, GoPro recommends a dongle that is uh, one amp, and that's why we use this middle guy right here. So we're going to plug our GoPro in, and then you want to hit the side button. That's going to turn the battery on. That will stay on for 60 seconds. Uh, until it sees a power source and then when it sees a power source it will stay on. Um, at that point we're just going to reach over and we're going to turn our camera on. Um, if you had your beeps on you'd hear it beep. If you had an LCD back you'd st start to see display just like you had. Um, at this point you are good to record and honestly if you've got a large uh, card in there, 64 gig, uh, it, it will fill that card up before this battery will run out. Very good product. Um, that gets you uh, a stock case without doing any modifications to your camera or the case but what it will not let you do is it will not let you use the LCD back. Uh, here in just a minute I'm going to show you uh, some modifications that we've made and again I reiterate this will void your GoPro warranty because we're actually going to cut a portion of our GoPro, GoPro camera. Alright guys we've made a couple changes here. I've swapped around some cases. Um, this will be my standard setup that we shoot uh, 150 games or plus a year. Um, aside from the fact that my demo model is a, is a Hero 3 white, uh, I'm using my black to actually record these videos. Uh, I don't use the white for much of anything except for maybe uh, shooting from the side uh, to do some uh, watching some of my catchers. Uh, but anyhow, I'm going to show you um, our basic setup. Using the um, battery eliminator, as I mentioned, it requires to come straight out of the out of the back of the GoPro. If you use the LCD back, you will not have that ability. Okay, so in order to, to make this happen, you will have to make a modification to your GoPro. And I know you're probably getting sick of hearing this. I'm certain this will void your warranty. Uh, it's a simple modification. It, it it causes no physical harm to the camera. Uh, the bottom section of this GoPro is just plastic. Um, so what you want to do is you want to cut a notch where the wire of that battery eliminator from Switchtronics will come straight out. All right. Now, like I said, this battery uh, pack just slaps in there. And by putting this notch here, the wire can come straight out. And that will allow you to put the LCD back on. Now, that's great for this, um, but you also have to put it in a case. So the other modification that you will have to make 
is to essentially make the same groove in the bottom of your case. Now, I, I did a poor job of this. Um, there are better ways to do this. I would recommend cutting directly below uh, the hinge here. Uh, you want the wire to be able to come straight out. You want it to avoid uh, this knuckle here. Uh, but if you put it right underneath, underneath that hinge, hinge, you should be just fine. Okay, so I'm going to show you what this looks like in the mounted position. And what you'll have to do is, you'll have to put this all together without the back on. You're going to place your camera over and then we're going to slide this wire in that groove that we made and then we're going to slip this back on under this hinge and that will actually lock that in there's actually no way that this gopro can come out now because it's created a closed connection there all right so once we've got it snapped into place you know you'll want to move this wherever you can to get the best shot so the email that i get more than any what do you shoot with this is what I shoot with, all right? Again, aside from the slight change of the camera, um, I use my standard link spider with spider slider, the GoPro tripod mount with the train in the background. That's an optional feature. Um, the case that has been modified, a Hero 3 Black, which I'm shooting with, that has been modified the same way that I'm shooting with my white. I use this pack from Lowe's and I use this Easy Act battery with the Switchtronics. That's all I shoot with. Um, I do have a 64 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra Extreme Plus. Um, all of these items, if you go to our website at linkspider.com, you'll find at the top a tab called Equipment. If you click on that Equipment tab, there will be links to all of these things. I make no money off this. Um, I make money off the, off the uh, bracket. I make no money off of all of these items. These are just things that we've found throughout the year, year and a half, that work best with this setup. Uh, I'm sure other things will come along, but at this point, this is the best setup that I've been able to find. Again, we shoot a lot of games. Um, we have a lot of success. I hope you do too. If you have more questions, contact me. I'm Josh Greer at Link Spider, www.linkspider.com. Thanks.